Talk Entertainment is brought to you by Optimal Hair Relaxer. One more day to Christmas and I'm here to bring you the very latest in the world of entertainment. The show, of course, is Let's Talk Entertainment. My name is Becky. Settle in. I'll be right back. Boys, we thank God for every year to the year to the year to the month and the week to the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All belongs to the Christmas gift. We have to give thanks to Almighty God. He's the one who put that our soul and our brain. So I was time we have to let them know Christmas gift is about praise. Give thanks to Almighty to meet the Christmas. Because most of the people are not feeling well. They are in a sickness. You know, most of them also they are healing. Most of them are blah blah blah. And most of them also accident. Most of them cannot wake up in the morning for what happened. But always we thank God for this year. And we hope things will be alright for this year. Everything will be delivered. Uh, actually this year everything will be possible different. It will be genuine. And I hope the Almighty give us the vision about 2015. So all is about we have to continue to work out on our gift thanks and praising the Almighty because all this time we know there is God. And we know everywhere we used to pass through, we have to keep on working out on our step on praise. Because there is enemies everywhere you go. On club, on sports, on beach, on exercise, on private side, on shower side, everywhere. All is about we deliver ourselves on praise. And we hope Everywhere we are going, there's God. Last year, the economy, I couldn't feel well. This year, I hope everything is on deliver fresh from nature God. If you've just joined us, you're on Joy News on Multi TV, and the show is Let's Talk Entertainment. Today, we're starting with the surprise birthday party put together for dancehall great Samini. To you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hip, 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 hip. It feels great to be around and you know witness um, a lot of changes in the scene and still be relevant. You know, so yeah. You talk about the fact that you're 34 and still relevant, but what else makes you glad to be 34? Wow. Wow, I mean, life is good. You just have to appreciate life. I mean, every other year you appreciate. I don't know what's so special about the 34 you keep saying, mm. but. But it's a year added on to your Exactly, year, so. Also. Yeah, that's the most important that you're happy that you're still alive and you're grateful for the gift of life. So you hope and pray that you get to achieve a lot more of your dreams, you know, before you, you get old and weary. I see. For many people, when they wake up on your birthday, they're like, okay, let me do an account of my life. Did you do that today? <laughs> you do that every other day. Mm. You do that every other day. I mean, you wake up on your birthday and your phone is busy. So, yeah, most of it is about what people have to say to you and stuff. And then you just, you know, try to relate to it. I have monitored the people you started. We talk about Tiny, KK Fosu, and uh, all the other guys. You have still remained relevant. What do you think has kept you in this game? Uh... I, I wouldn't know. I just because I stick to my work and I make sure I, I you know, go to work with all seriousness and all, um, hundred percent. So definitely the results has to be a hundred. But more importantly, everybody is on a mission and not everybody is going to be on top for so long. So when you're on top for so long, then you have to now look at maintaining and staying there. Do you feel like you've outlived your equals? There's a lot of um, well-achieved 34-year-olds out there that might not be entertainers, so you wouldn't know. So yeah, I can't say that. I, I can only say that I've done well for myself and I know I made Mama proud, so yeah. You keep talking about Mama. What did Mama say to you this morning as you turned 34? Well, she said she loved me, she prayed for me, and yeah, I went down there to eat and chill with her. Yeah, before I went home to cool off and then come out here to do this with my fans and friends. So yeah, I, I, I spend a lot of time with mom and every birthday I, I have to see her. Yeah. Hmm. Now what's about your babies? I know you have some kids. How how did they feel? That is 34, what did they do for you and all that? Well, um, uh, fortunately I have, um, I have uh, my daughter here in town chilling with me for this year's birthday. So she's here. The rest of her siblings sent their messages and stuff. So yeah. I mean, it feels good to always have your own children, you know, talk to you and express to you how much they love you and stuff. That's the most unconditional love you can ever find, 
you know, so I can only relate. Is there anything at 34 you cast your mind back and say, I regret I made the decision. I don't want anybody to go this path. Uh, wow. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't come out as a bad student, but I wasn't staying in class. And I wasn't staying in class because I wanted to entertain, and that's what I'm doing today. So I don't regret entertaining. But I wouldn't tell you don't stay in class. But I didn't really stay in class. But I didn't bomb. So be just careful. If you want to stay out there and have fun, make sure you read the book so that you don't have problems with your teachers. Because if you're a stubborn child in class and you know the book, then you have a chance. You want to tell us how you feel by having three cakes all in front of you? <laughs> well, it, it feels great. I guess. Seen, I, I guess because I'm in my thirties. I guess so. It's three. It's three cakes, right? I see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is. Yes, that one. So this one is a cake from Multimedia to you, Samini. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what I'm going to do. So, for all those who love cake, just know I've got cake for days. Ntombela is the headline artist for this year's explosion of joy put together by Joyful Way. Let's talk entertainment. I've been hanging out with her. Father who can take your place, is on the highest praise. You Coming all the way from South Africa, I have Ntombele right here to talk entertainment. Hello. Hello, how are you? Thank you. You look good with the natural hair. You know, everyone's been saying something about my hair. I think it's not a common thing around here. It is, actually. Is it? A lot of people are taking up the natural hair this time. I promise you, it is. Like, the maintenance here is so great because we don't have to work so hard on the hair chemicals every now and again. But you just wake up, you can shower every day. It's a beautiful hairstyle. But I'm happy to be here, though. I can see that. I'm very excited to be here in Ghana. It feels like it's my first time. Well, actually, it is my second time. First time we came here was with a joyous celebration about two years ago. And we actually, that's where we, we, we sang with, uh, with Joyful uh, Way. We, we met them there, and we, we just fell in love, you know? And at that time, because we didn't get time to talk with them, I was quite sure it was just a, a choir. You know, it was a choir that sings. And, but I found out on this visit that it's actually a ministry. There's more to it. It's 43 years old. And I was like, this is a big thing, and I get to be a part of it. So I'm very honored, and I'm very humble and excited. Talking about Joe's uh, celebration, how long have you been with them? Four years now. I think this is our well, this is my fourth year with them. Uh, we just did uh, celebrated our twentieth recording this Saturday. Just this Saturday, we had a big stadium where it was just a big show. It was so beautiful, and we had so much fun. So yeah, I've been with them for four years now. This is my fourth year with them. How did it start? Okay, well, I was actually I, I was actually studying interior design. And I did interior design, and I was fine. And it was beautiful. I love it. You know, I'm very artistic. Until I found that I was more um, spiritually drawn towards music. I didn't even know I loved music, but I realized then that I actually do. Because I've been in music for a long time. I was in the worship team at 11 years old, and I was active. But only to find that I didn't think it would be a career until God drew me to it through Israel Houghton. I had a meeting with Israel Houghton this one time, that's when we met, and he spoke something to me that made so much sense, and being around that environment of music was just comfortable for me, and I was like, this is probably what I should do. <laughs> I didn't know what this was. So I studied it, I studied it, I went to a, a, a college called Howard College School of Jazz, one of the biggest jazz schools in Africa, it's a very wonderful school. And yeah, I, I've just finished, actually, just finished my degree. So we're having a whole new jazz artist in Africa. Well, that's the first time you're hearing this on Joy News on Multi TV. I'm really not sure if I want to really do an album. I'm very scared of the stage. I'm scared of the mic. I don't know what happens when I... But you're talented. I'm so scared when I grab the mic, I shake. So I don't mind writing and I don't mind teaching. So that's what mainly I do. You are... I 
teach and I write and I actually go around doing seminars every now and again. I have fun. If, actually, if I could get more time here, yeah, I'd actually arrange a nice seminar just so that we teach and go through things, you know, but we teach about worship and songwriting and musicality and stuff. But recording, I don't know, I'll think about it. I've been learning languages, I've been learning words, I've been learning so many things. Um, I learned another one. I forgot how it goes, <laughs> but it's very beautiful. And it's one of the songs that I will be featured in that I'll sing with them in, 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 on the 26th, which is so excited. They're a big group, they're so exciting. So yeah, we're, uh, I've learned that, and then I've taught them a few of my songs as well, three of my songs. Uh, and then yeah, it's going to be a fun time, very fun time in the presence of the Lord. Come 26th of uh, December, what should uh, the people watching you expect from you? Wow, well, Joyful Way, Joyful Way is a big choir, and they're doing great. I was listening to them, and I was like, wow, they're such a beautiful, beautiful musicians, beautiful singers, talented in every way, and... I, even I cannot actually fathom what's going to happen on the 26th, but from what I'm seeing here, it's going to be quite a big explosion, it's going to be fun. It's my first time coming to these, show, to these shows, apparently it's an annual thing, and I'm coming here, and I'm so excited, and it's, they sound amazing. So it's going to be a mind-blowing thing, presence of the Lord will definitely be there. I'm, ex I'm so excited. I really am. We are looking forward. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there. If you're one of the people who are still contemplating on what Sarko Diaz, a hand to mouth song is all about, this should help you. Uh, it's actually my uncle talking. This, your, your uncle? That, that's what people actually mistake the song for because I, I'm saying it like this is me, you know, because that's how my uncle talks to me. Oh, you know, I see. That's what he said. I think that was some years <laughs> back. I didn't really understand it. I was trying to, you know, live a young life, try to just, you know, have fun. When mm -hmm. you make money, you're trying to get the sneakers, you're doing this and that. And he actually asked me, he literally walks around with calculator. Oh, wow. You know, so when you have a wristwatch on, you ask you how much is that? <laughs> you ask you how much is your shoes? He said, oh, like, thousand dollars, thousand dollars. Okay, what's the Sava Ghana money? Yeah, five thousand. Only here, better. And, you know, he took me around for, mm -hmm. for like, a drive in the day, and he showed me stuff that he has done for himself, mm -hmm. which I never knew. Uh, built hostels and houses and wow. um, trucks that works for him. So all he does is literally sleep at home and then go take the money and just come home and do whatever he wants to do. Man, go me home a day in Kurano. I brought money to make you eighty. My two turns are serious. You see, I don't know my brother. Until I come to twenty, now twenty now I can't the hand to mouth. Hand to mouth. Twenty now I can't the hand to mouth. Yo. It's been nice talking entertainment with you lovely viewers here on Joy News on Multi TV. Do make time tomorrow for another edition. My name is Becky. Ciao. Let's Talk Entertainment was brought to you by Optimal Hair Relaxer.